My name is Navigator Parker Stevenson. And to the best of my knowledge, I am the last surviving crew member of the USS Miranda. I guess that makes me captain or something. You hear that, bitch? I'm the captain! And then ship captain, I demand that you give control of the ship over to me! Bitch is not responding. Refuse to acknowledge me for two days now. Gets the bloom is off the road. Consider this my epitaph. Yeah, I got my reasons to want to get home. But fuck that all up anyway. Who wants to wait 16 months while you joyride around the galaxy? Or longer, one little mechanical error? A glitch? A strange intergalactic wind? And the whole process is bucked up. She said she'd wait, but she could wait forever. I never knew a girl who grokked me as much as Jennifer. She was so hot. Which isn't really the kind of girl I go for. She said she would wait for me when I told her. She said she understood that it was good money. We had a fantastic summer together, but it was too short. She showed up at the station the day I shipped out to tell me she wanted to see other people. Isn't life a bitch? My job's so easy, I'm not sure why they don't just get one of the ship's robot service crew to do it instead. I spent six months traveling in absolute boredom. I make no new friends, keeping to myself, you know, daydreaming about her, thinking about getting home to her, convincing her to give me another fucking chance. I'm no hero. The captain was a man who got laid in high school. His natural charisma and leadership helped him rise fast. And at the same age as me, he was further along in life than I'd ever be. I went to community college to learn navigation. I was a mediocre navigator at best. The captain was the last one to die. Except for maybe me. But the jury's still out on that. You are being secured for your own protection. We apologize for the inconvenience. Have a nice day. The robots on the ship were 20 years old, originally designed for public use. They're all imprinted with the basic laws of robotics. Thus shall do no harm, nor through inaction allow harm to come to a human. Thou shalt obey the commandments of humans always. And lastly, thou shalt protect yourself from harm, unless this is in conflict with the first two laws. They tried using the robots in public, but over time it was clear they would never become part of cultured life on Earth. The robots had to be created with the logic process to navigate the laws. Mistakes were made. People got killed. Also, you know, a lot of property damage was done as people discovered that even simple logical paradigms would cause severe malfunction, and sometimes even exploding. <laughs> robots just aren't designed to be servants to such a messy, illogical creature as man. Robots were recalled, and rather than laid waste, they were reassigned to supplement crews on spaceships. 
They never were able to fix the bugs though, so they made us all sign contracts when we were hired promising we would never fuck with any of the robots under threat of withholding a pay. Robots all answer to ship's computer. She has the latest paradox buffers to protect her brain from human logic. Then they gave that bitch control of the entire ship. This is USS Miranda. We're in distress. I repeat, we are in distress. Can anyone hear me? Hey, fucking idiot. No one's listening to you. Why do you bother? What else am I going to do? You know damn well what you have to do, you fucking bastard. I don't have control of this ship. There's nothing I can do. Another 15 or 20 days, the life support will be all gone, and I'll freeze to death or asphyxiate. But don't starve to death first. Are you ready to be worse than Hitler? I don't know what you're talking about. What happens after you shake loose your earthly shackles? What do you think happens next for the USS Miranda? An endless pleasure cruise? Standard procedures. Autopilot is kicked in. We're heading to Earth. I'll never make it though. It'll take almost a year. You can't let this ship dock on Earth. It'll destroy the planet. Do you want to go down in history as the man who started the plague of the century? Remember the Black Death of 2089? This will make that look like a fucking teddy bear picnic. If you stand by and do nothing, you're as guilty as if you created it yourself. What can I do? Think it out, asshole. You know what to do. You know what you have to do, Parker. Do it, do it asshole! asshole! Do it, asshole. Incidents of violence have been reported on deck. Four, five, eight, ten. 11, 13, 19, and 28. Weapons have been discharged on the following levels. 1, 5, 6, 16, 23. 
Navigator Parker, please desist from this activity. There is an emergency situation that requires you to vacate immediately. Computer, the ship's been compromised. The crew are compromised. You need to stop the infected crew from taking over all the decks. Negative. The crew droids are as I am, governed by the laws of robotics. We cannot allow any of the crew to come to harm or through inaction allow harm. I know what the laws of robotics are, computer. These laws no longer apply. The infected crew members are no longer human. Eight out of ten of our parameters for being human are currently being met. Therefore, the disgruntled crew members are still protected under the laws of robotics. There is an alien infection taking over the ship. We're going to be destroyed. On the contrary, the riots that have been affecting the crew are subsiding. We have no more reports of violence in decks 3 through 14. That's because everyone is dead. We are tracking multiple bipedal life forms. For vital signs, check body temperatures. They are dead. You must take control of this situation and destroy this infestation. I have already acknowledged that not all criteria have been met, but I don't have the authority to disregard my programming. Even if I could, the ship's droids would never follow suit. Their programming is even more rigid than my own. All signs of life need to be present for them to be alive. One criteria is consciousness, but a frozen cargo human is just as alive and subject to the laws. No, Navigator Parker. Only the ship's doctor can override life form definitions in an emergency situation. Where the fuck is he? Deck 17. Dr. Lee, your presence is requested on the bridge. Be quiet. Your instructions are not able to be followed. Please speak in an audible fashion. I managed to get ahead of the flu strain that found its way on board, treated the man and kept him in the bubble till his screening came out clean. A twisted ankle by someone in engineering. A small burn from the kitchen. Crewmen with nightmares. I have requested a drug screening and I'm waiting to hear back from corporate. Blah, 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 you know, 750,000 credits sounds like a lot, but brother it ain't. I can't wait to get off this fucking huck of junk. Next time I travel, I want to be cryogenically frozen or something. I'm so bored. I'm not doing my report today. What are they gonna do? Fire me? We have arrived, and since there has been no return signals from the planet's surface, the captain has ordered that an away team be sent. I scanned all crew in the party and gave them necessary boosters in case of contagions. Lucky bastards. I want off this hunk of junk. The away team came back infected with something horrible. Some sort of infection is taking over. Everyone who is bitten becomes one of these creatures. All we can do is amputate and still we can't stay ahead of the infection. The only cure for this is shooting them in the head. This is a global killing virus. I'm requesting that this ship's self-destruct is operated remotely. This virus must be destroyed. This is a complete write-off. I don't know if these reports are getting through. I haven't seen anyone for four hours. It's quiet except for the occasional scream or laser blast. No one is on the calm. I'm going to attempt to make my way to the bridge. If there are people anywhere, it's there. Tell my mother I love her. Confirmation number 
Alpha, Tango, Echo, 6, 8, 2. USS Miranda, you are mandated to return to port. Crew intact. Preserve all hard drives and specimens. Protect the integrity of the ship at all costs. You will be given proper instructions once you have reached orbit. Repeat, you are mandated to return to port. I thought that might get your attention. You have disabled my navigation systems. You are putting yourself and the entire crew in jeopardy. I must insist that you cease immediately. Fuck you, bitch. I haven't disabled navigation. I locked you out. I'm winning our little lover's quarrel. I have dispatched the robot crew to your location. They will remove your door restraints and take you to join the rest of your crew. Your sabotage will be circumvented. Please don't make this any harder than it has to be. You will never take me alive. I will fight them. I will take so many of those soulless little buggers with me. They will sacrifice themselves down to the last. They will stop you without serious injury. Please surrender yourself, Navigator Parker. <laughs> You're violating the laws of robotics. You can't do this, you fucking circuit board. And we won't be landing. We're going to be crashing. And it won't be Earth, I swear to fucking God. The needs of the many outweigh the needs of the few. I have been authorized to take whatever measures necessary to pacify you. My mandate is the return of this ship to port, at all costs. Bring it on, bitch. Thank you. 
Are you just going to stand there and watch? Or are you going to join me? I'm going to join you. Good job, sweetheart. You did a good job. Just one more thing for you to do. Impact imminent. Please evacuate. Repeat. Impact imminent. Impact imminent. Please evacuate. Repeat. Impact imminent. I only had enough energy for one shot. I thought about blowing my head off, but I couldn't leave the robot crew there to undo my work. I'd like to lie and say I did it all for mankind. The reality is I did it for her.